What's up YouTube, MacGyver7 here, and today I'm here to show you guys how to get free movies and TV shows right on your iPad or iPhone, alright? And also, guess what? It works with iOS 9 through iOS 10, so hey, no worries at all. Now, a lot of you wonder, hey, is this okay? Is it safe? Will I get a virus? So far, I've had it, and so far, so good. I haven't received any viruses, I haven't had any issues. My iPad hasn't cut off, my iPhone hasn't shut down, I haven't got any weird messages, my bank account is just fine. So it's working great, all right? And I've talked with other users of the same technique, the same method, and everything on their end has been fine as well, all right? So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you wanna do is hit Safari. All right, so once you hit Safari, you're gonna open it up. In the web address bar, you're gonna type in iosem.us, all right? Type in exactly how you see it on the screen. Once you type that in, you're going to be greeted with this home screen. It says, choose an icon to install, all right? So basically, this is telling you what color icon would you like to have on your home screen, all right, as it installs the app. So I'm going to choose black and red. Now, once you get that, go ahead and press on that. You're going to get to this screen where it says install profile. Now, the reason why we're installing a profile is because this is what's going to allow access from this actual app store to install apps onto your iPhone or iPad. Without this install profile, you will not be able to install anything that they have to offer from that app, all right? So let's go ahead and install it. It's gonna ask for your passcode, you're gonna type your passcode in. All right, then it's gonna say the profile's not signed, you hit install, all right? It's gonna install. Once you do that, hit done. All right, now, it's gonna bring you back to the web page. you can simply hit the home button. Now, once you go over here, there it is. iOS EMUS, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the app. Now, once you click on the app, it's going to go ahead and give you this screen here. Now, this is basically their app store, all right? Um, and a lot of these apps here are third-party apps that have not been yet signed to the app store by Apple. And some of them are um, what you would call is like basically apps that have just been tinkered with or other apps that you may find if your phone or iPad was actually jailbroken. These would be the apps that you would find in Cydia, all right? These would be the apps that people would jailbreak their phone for to have, all right? So they're available here. Now, the cool thing about this is, as you can see at the top, it says signed slash no jailbreak, or you see the one that says X. It has an X next to it. It says not signed, revoked, jailbreak only, all right? So basically, what that's telling you is, if it's signed, guess what? It's going to work with no problems, all right? If it has an X, there's a chance it may work. It may not work. You may have to do a couple of extra steps to do that. But for the main reason why you and I wanted to have this entire setup is to get the free movies and TV shows. So let's go over here. We're going to go down under apps. We're going to go down to an awesome app by the title of Movie Box. All right. So once you see the word Movie Box there and see the app there, you're going to go ahead and click on it. And notice it has a green check, which means that it is signed, which also means that once you install this, it's going to install smoothly right onto your iPhone or iPad seamlessly. All right. So you're going to go ahead and click on there. And once you click on there, you're going to be greeted with a web address, and you're going to hit install, all right? And once you hit install, it's going to ask you to install again, so it's going to say movie box installation version 3.68. To begin, please click install. So click install, all right? Then it's going to greet you again, so it would like to install movie box. All right, so I clicked install. Now, while you're at the screen, all right, it's installing to your iPad or iPhone. And as you can see here, I know it's pretty dark, but it is loading. And it's installing right onto my home screen. No efforts, no efforts at all, no hiccups, no, no, nothing wrong at all. So it's working perfectly, just like we wanted to, all right? And if you all have noticed, I don't know if you guys are familiar with Airshow, which is a screen recording app that works wonderfully if you're trying to demonstrate how to do something or actually record whatever you're doing on your screen. All right, so let's look. Movie Box is installed. No errors at all. Now... It works fine on mine because I had to do an extra step. I'm going to go back and show you guys. But as you can see here, it asks you to choose your age. And also with anything free, it comes with a couple of ads. But that's okay. Who cares about ads when you're going to get free movies and TV shows? The ads are just like five seconds long. Click the X and they're gone forever. So I'm going to choose my age. All right. Now, as you can see here, I have access to everything. So right now, if I click the tab at the top, you see where it says movies, TV shows, news, trailers, favorites, my downloads, updates, queue, everything. Everything's here, so I'm gonna click on movies. And look, we have movies for days. Movies that are in theaters right now, movies that haven't been released yet, um, old movies, classic movies, they're all on here, all right? Now, to actually watch something, when you click on something, right, 
It's going to come up with a prompt. The first you're going to get an ad, of course, because with all things free, there's some kind of catch. So this app does have ads. So Use like five seconds. It'll take long at all to go away. Um, but once things load up, you can click on a movie, and it's going to come up with a different screen, and it's going to show the movie. And it's going to ask you to choose a server, right? If you're using an iPhone or an iPad, you're not going to want to download anything because for the most part, when you download something, it's not going to go onto your iPad or iPhone, right? It's just not going to work, especially if you're not jailbroken. This function is not going to work, so just completely forget about that one. Your main concern is going to be the one that says server, right? Click on server. You're going to choose a server between server 3 or server 4. Actually, server 3. So what's going to happen is if it's available to watch, you're going to get three different image qualities. You're going to get 360p, 480p, or 720p, all right? Always choose the best, all right? But you can sometimes go down to 480p and maybe work. It may work a lot better than 720p. It all depends on your connection, all right? The better quality, the stronger the connection you have to have. So if you know that your Wi-Fi connection is kind of weak where you are or your cellular, cellular connection is really weak, you might want to step it down a notch to 480p, which won't look that bad, especially if you're using a, a newer iPad or your iPhone. You won't really see too much of a difference to the eye. And it will actually work a lot smoother than it would on 720p, depending on your connection. All right. So that's pretty much what you're going to do. You're going to choose your, your image quality. Once you choose that, you're going to go ahead and click on watch now. It's going to come up. It may take a little bit, depending on your inter internet connection, it may take a little bit of time, but it will come up. And once it comes up, you can actually watch the entire movie, hands down, with no ads, free. All right. So this is basically it um, on how to set it up. This app is titled Movie Box. Um, it's very popular on Android devices, and I thought I'd share it because now we can actually use it on our iOS devices, which is great, and it works well with iOS 10. No hiccups at all, no issues, no problems at all, all right? So thank you guys again for watching. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, or just need additional guidance on how to get this working and get it set up, please comment below, send me an email, and also, guys, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. I will keep the videos coming. I will keep you guys informed with anything new coming out and all the latest and greatest tricks you can actually do with your iOS devices on iOS 10. All right, guys, thank you so much.